Once you have your length, whatever the longest is again, right? So once you have that length, what we need to now find is called a ratio. I hear someone's music that needs to be shut off. There we go, thank you. So we need to find a ratio. This ratio is going to tell us how big to make everything. It's going to be a magic number. It's going to be your best friend. So get rid of your current best friend. Ratio is your new best friend. To find the ratio, we're going to take this measurement, and we need to scale this up to 24 inches, because that's the longest our cardboard project's going to be. I'm going to double check it on my calculator before I tell you something wrong. All right, I'm good. We thus take 24 in our calculators and divide it by our length. So for me, it's 2.5. So it's 24 divided by our length. Again, because 24 is going to be the longest out of cardboard, and this is the longest on our actual item. So for mine, I got 9.6 in my calculator. That number is our magic ratio number. So 9.6 for me is my ratio. What this tells me now, after I find my ratio, I need to start measuring every single part of my item, anything that stands out. So I have paper from earlier. I did it on my orthographic projection, but you can also just do it on the side, your measurements, whatever makes sense to you. But I need to find things like the width across the face, the width across the body, the height of the ear, anything that I'm going to need to sculpt. Same thing like how long is that? How tall is it from here to there? And I take those measurements. I'll start with the width across the face. So width across the face, it's going to look different on camera, but it's about two and, boop, 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 me counting, four, oh my goodness, two and 11 sixteenths. So across the face is two and 11 sixteenths. Once again, I need to make sure that's a decimal, so I go 11 divided by 16, so it's two point six, eight, seven, or 2.69, whatever. I'm going to go 2.69. To get the actual length that it's going to be in cardboard, so again, this is just across the face, I then have to multiply it by my ratio number, my magic number. So then my 2.69 multiplied with magic ratio, that's not right. What happened? What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. It's not a two. It's a one. This is great to have on video. So try it again. 1.69 times magic ratio number. There we go. We'll be 16.22 inches. So that's how big across the face will be in cardboard. So for every measurement, once you have your ratio, which again is 24 divided by our length that we found, I have to take that measurement, nose, head, ear, whatever it is, multiply it by the ratio, and write those numbers down. Make sure to label things. So like that's head width. Otherwise, you can get really lost. And last time, as far as organization goes, you can do it directly on your orthographic projection. Again, this is a lot of math. 
So I'm going to once again walk around, make sure everyone has a correct ratio because there is a few that's going to mess up. If it's above 25, the calculator is doing something weird. And I'll let you know. Typically, just as a side note and so that it's on the video camera, if your uh, longest measurement is less than an inch, you actually have to multiply it by 24 to get your ratio. Um, again, because the calculator is confused. And I don't want to explain why, because it'll get us more confused. So let me know if you need help on any of the math. After you find your ratio, just keep measuring, multiply by that ratio, every single thing that's important.